Hi, this is Drew Jensen. Coming to you with a quick vector graphics tutorial using OpenOffice.org 3.2. The other day I uh, was looking at my Twitter page and I decided I wanted to give it a little graphic and so I went to, um, to OpenOffice and in about 10 minutes I created this small graphic on the left of the page and so here we go. We uh, open up the uh, drawing program. We'll simply add some text to our page in this case, OO.O for OpenOffice.org. Uh, once I do that, I'm going to go up and size the text, make sure I've got the, uh, the actual text object selected. Then I'll go size it up to 66 points. Uh, then I'll use the right mouse click to bring up my context menu and change to a 3D objects. That gives me the three uh, text with some depth. I then go up to the uh, toolbar by the uh, pot there the, and change the uh, background to a gradient and then in the pull down select which gradient I want. gives us a little bit of uh, shadowing. Now I want to have a little bit of movement to this so we're going to um, go ahead and select this and we're going to uh, use um, the ability to move the different pieces. So I've now selected one of the O's and notice as I move it, I'm using the cursor keys here, notice that the other uh, uh, pieces of text will move just a teeny bit because uh, they actually influence each other still because uh, they're, they're still uh, somewhat connected. Now I'll go in here and, and I'll select the 3D rotation tool because I want to just take it off of a, a main uh, uh, straight line, give it a little angle. Uh, just kind of freehanding here, I say, well, I'm going to move the pivot point back to the uh, to the left of this so that it angles down instead of just pivoting on the on the center. And uh, look at this again. I see. Well, it's looking pretty good. I might move that little guy in just a little bit. Again, I'll select it and use the cursor keys. And you can always use the um, Alt cursor key uh, to get a much finer movement. Uh, that's looking a little better now. Now um, I want to go ahead and add a couple of little. Uh, uh, guys to it. So I want the gallery and here I, I made a mistake. I opened the wrong dialog. We just close that. We'll open the gallery. I'm using the uh, open office that came with Ubuntu 10.04 and, and included the galleries that came with it. This is clip art. That's free. It's right in your repository. And here under people I have these uh, little computer generated blue men that somebody made and donated. Now, I don't know who did it. it uh, they're great little guys. And I want one that'll stand on top of this back O. Uh, it looks a little tentative. That's a good one. And then I want one that's going to be walking down. It's got a little action. It needs a little bit of action. So we're going to bring this fella here down. And uh, that'll be good. And then one that's uh, jumping off the end. Because uh, this is our little Twitter guy. He's going to be carrying our message out to the world. So he's coming down off the line. That looks good. And... Um, we can go ahead and close up the gallery now and <clears throat> click on it. Now I can I can move these individual guys. I'll just grab one, use the cursor, bring it down so in my eye just uh, visualize where there might be a landing here. Now this guy's going to be uh, uh, straddling these two uh, objects, these two O's. So we're going to go into 3D rotation with him we're going to move that uh, pivot point down again to the left and make him kind of come forward so that there we go he's between the two it's not quite right so I'm going to go ahead and move this a little closer again so that uh, instead of trying to change his size I'm just going to go ahead and, and move the goal posts as it were here remember this is freehand I just I was doing this on a Saturday uh, uh, this is not a, the actual graphic that I use but this is exactly what I did to create the graphic that I ended up with it was just for my own uh, one-time use, so we're just free-handing it here, just what looks good to our eye. And uh, I'd say he's pretty close to what I want. He's got a foot on the one and a foot on the other, so this fellow here will just, again, use our cursor keys, bring him down, put him on top of the uh, the first O. Well, we're assuming it's a he, since I'm a he, so we'll just uh, say they, they're all guys here. And he's looking off. So now I, I select them all, and I'm going to uh, 
on my context menu, I'm going to group them together. Here I, I bring up the wrong dialog. Again, just close it. I go up here, group them all, and I, I'm i looking at the uh, ruler at the top there, and I it's a little too big, so I size it down. I'm about two and a half inches or so. And again, I want to give it a little more motion. So again, I'm just going to tip it down a little bit. Um, I'll eye it, you know. Again, it's just whatever. Now, I don't know, it seems a little too severe, so maybe we'll bring them up a little bit. Yeah, again, I'm just in my mind's eye, I'm visualizing where he's landing on um, on the ground there. And that I, I like that. It's got kind of some motion. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. These are still my objects that are vector objects. And I'm going to paste it all in. Notice there's a little uh, uh, glitch there, but as soon as we move it, it fixes itself. Because I need to uh, change this to a bitmap here, convert to a bitmap. And you'll see it changes just a little bit. And now I see that I can save it as a graphic. This is not the actual full page. This is just those grouped objects as their own graphics. So I'll just give it a name here. This is Base Answers Twitter page, the left side. So we'll just call it that. And uh, we'll save it as a PNG file. And that's it. Very good. And then we'll go add that to the page itself.